Hello, Wolfman here, and welcome back to the second day of building Port Lunar. If you did not see the first video, this is basically just a small little harbor I'm throwing together for the hell of it. And today we have quite a little bit more progress done between me and a few other admins who have been running around building random structures. Uh, right in front of us is the light, uh, is the, not lifeboat, the tugboat that I showed in the last video. Which, uh, this ain't new, but I did, uh, copy that one. That's the original over there, and then this is the copy of it, since I needed two tugboats for, I don't know why. So right here we have a very small car ferry. She hasn't found a home yet. It's, uh, pretty much, I think I'm just gonna leave her here and make it look like she's, like, in the, you know, like, near the shipbuilding yard for maintenance. But if we go inside, there isn't really too much. If we go inside right here, it's just, this is the little car deck. You only fit, you only fit like a couple dozen cars in here, maybe so. I'm not sure. But a good amount, at least. Right here, we, I think there's like three decks. So this is like the middle deck, and then up here is the top, where the bridge is. Pretty much the only thing interiorized is the bridge and the car deck. And back here is just a seating area. This is based on a real ship. Uh, I think I'll, I'll put all the pictures in of like the ships I'm making today for the hell of it. So yeah, this is, a, this is a real ship, and tugboat, which I believe, yeah, it was a real tugboat too, I based this on. I'm not sure if I have the picture, but I'll find it if I do. Right here is the sailboat that Mdez, or I, I forgot how to, he said like the first time I said it was right, but whatever. So yeah, this little sailboat he put together, it's kind of just sitting here in the, in the shipbuilding yard, until it gets put in the water. Uh, if you notice that the Jessica B is gone, because the Jessica B now has a home. And right here is, uh, MD's starting to put in shipbuilding, like, things in here. This is just, like, a little warehouse, so he's putting all ship-related stuff, like propellers and logs and anvils and sticks, or pretty much just, like, railing is what I use these for. Right here is just the dry dock elevator, which I, well, I didn't really show it last time, but that's pretty much all it is, just a way to get down to those doors. Got a little forklift. I believe this warehouse was here last time. If not, I'll just go over it. Uh, Tofo made it. He's the, he's like the second admin who's been helping out. But yeah, little warehouse. I'm pretty sure I'm, I showed it, but just in case, that that's the warehouse. Little trailers. Uh, MB, uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna call them MBs, since that's easier for me to say. But he made a few little trucks. Here's like a truck put together, and just like little parking area. These just go around holding containers and bring them to these gigantic lift or gantry cranes. Gantry, yeah. Gantry cranes or container cranes, whatever you want to call them. I made two of them. These are of, I know that I, in OIO, I used to use George's crane, but problem is, George's crane was never made to like actually look like it's supposed to pick up containers. So I made my own. Also, I needed a bigger crane for this ship. So, yeah, that's how this one came to be, which. Actually, I had pretty had some fun making this thing. Pretty simple, even though it's like hard at the same time. <laughs> so yeah, another semi which just got that container lift off of it. Here is an oil, a whole bunch of oil storage rigs, pretty much or tanks, not rigs, but pretty much like if the Jessica B wasn't there, an oil ship could come in and refuel from these and it, like switch out oil and stuff. Right here are these weird looking things. These are container, I'm not sure what their actual name is, but they're kind of like a lift, like a, they're pretty much like a crane that lifts up containers, as you can see right here. Lifts up containers from these stacks. See, here's one over here to, lifting from there. And it brings them over to a semi and drops them on. Now, the way they do unloading, offloading containers, they unload and load at the same time, usually, sometimes. Because usually a crane will come pick up a container, put it on a truck, and then the next truck that comes along, it'll pick up that container and bring it onto the ship, and then keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Same with these guys. One of them is picking up containers to give them to the truck, and the other one is picking up containers from a truck and putting them in the stack. It's pretty complicated, but that's basically how container operations work from what I've seen. So yeah, here is the second ship. I'm not sure she has a name. KJ made this ship, and he... Drew the ship, which I'll put the picture in, of course. He drew the ship, and he just pretty much like, oh, I want to build that. So he built this. I had to make a, another side of that. I was planning on just having like one crane for the dock, but 
I guess this is fine with just two cranes. Right here is the warehouse still from Tuffo that he made. Got a fence up now. And if we come over here, this big thing is what I'm working on currently. Now this is a vehicle carrier which pretty much picks up cars, like brand new cars, from a place and takes them to somewhere else. It's like a, you know, those semi-trucks that have, or depending on where you're from, lorry or semi-truck, whatever you want to call them, you know, those ones with all the cars on them. This is just a ship version of that, just very, very huge and crazy. See, this has four decks of cars, which I'll go in. I'll make a video of the ship on its own when it's done. So, yeah. This is, I believe this is deck three. So there's two decks below and one deck below me for, or above me for cars. And then ramps in between to get the cars up and down. This one can't really hold any semi trucks, but it can hold general cars. Even though I think in real life this thing can carry like all sorts of stuff that can fit. I just made it kind of smaller for, like in, in the inside it's kind of weird because of the Minecraft scaling. This bow is pretty interesting. Since since the bow on auto or like auto carriers or vehicle carriers, whatever you want to call them, they're very oddly shaped. Like they're very long, as you can see right here. This line right here is very long, and then they get all very stubby in the front, which makes it look even weirder. These little brown things are there are the anchors, since they're brown on the ship. And then if you wonder what this is, this is the ramp that folds down, as you can see right here on this side. It falls down up to right here, and then this is just like a little structure that stays on the dock, and then you can move it around. Back here is the sideways one. I can't really build a sideways ramp too well, but I did as good as I could. That's um, that's why the ship kind of looks weird from this angle, because it's supposed to be angled like this for the ramp, which goes up and down. And then back of the ship, and then just plain on the other side. Still, I have plenty of work to do, as you would have seen from the picture. There's the bridge and stuff on top, all kinds of stuff on top. So yeah, and then nothing has changed over here, and that's pretty much it for the preview for today. Not sure, like, well, it's like it's technically just day two, in, uh, like, because it's the second time I've shown you this, like, video, whatever. <laughs> I'm losing my words here, but yeah, I'd like to thank you for watching. My name is Chris, also known as Wolfmind, and goodbye.